Hello there, my Aries love. Welcome to Soul Spark Tarot Guide and your love reading for this week or whenever you're guided to this video, that's when you're meant to hear it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Take only what applies to your situation and leave the rest. If this is your story, feel free to flip the energies as you see fit. And if it isn't, do check out my other videos for your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Take a deep breath and let's begin. Starting off your reading is the King of Cups. He's an out-and-out -out romantic, but he is emotionally mature. He is emotionally available. He loves deeply and sincerely, and he's happiest when his love is reciprocated. He's in touch with his emotions, and he genuinely cares for his loved ones. He feels deeply, but he doesn't let his emotions get the best of him. Sometimes though, he feels his pain as deeply as he is able to love. How does your person feel about you this week? You got the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. I feel there is jealousy here with the Four of Pentacles and with the Page of Swords. I feel that your person may have found out that you're already committed to someone else or perhaps you could even be married. They could be snooping for information about you or spying on you and they found out that you're with a queen of swords. And the page here is looking at the queen with a jealous vibe of the four of pentacles. And the queen is like, you got nothing on me. I'm the queen. You're just the page. That's what I'm getting. Okay. What is in your person's head space this week? You got the five of pentacles, the eight of pentacles in reverse, the knight of swords, and the ten of wands. Look at this person's facial expression. It's like... Woe is me. Get me out of this God-forsaken place. With the Eight of Pentacles here, they don't want to put in the effort anymore. It's like all their time and effort had been wasted. I feel that they could be in battle mode because they're feeling overwhelmed by the situation. What they found out about you has rapidly become a burden to them. You're feeling left out in the cold. They feel as though there's no use putting in any effort in this connection anymore. Their world has been disrupted and there's a sense of despair and motivation. They feel as though they're alone in this ordeal. This is despair. This is discouragement, disruption, and feeling drained. What does the person want to say to you? You got the moon, the three of swords, the eight of cups, and the ten of swords. If these were one sentence cards, this is what it would say. I now know what you're hiding from me. How could you do this to my heart? It's best for me to leave. This is over. Okay. So, you could just see the resentment and the helplessness in this person's face. It's like, how could you do this? How could you lie to me? I thought we were happy, but this is no happy place. I'm done with you. I'm done with this. The situation has killed my love for you. That's pretty intense. The King of Cups could be pretty intense. Um, he's connected to the sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio is all about intensity. When they love, they love passionately. They could also get jealous very deeply. All right. What is the outcome of this love connection this week? It, you got this. Star in reverse, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. The Star in reverse and Seven of Cups 
They're both cards of false hope. It's like any offer of love cannot be trusted with a star in your birth. If you make an effort, if you make an attempt to woo this person back, they're not going to be interested. They feel like they've been kept in the dark. I feel like they had a lot of love for you, but with what they've discovered, it's like they're not free to love you anymore. Because you're already committed. You're already with someone else. The Eight of Swords has Three of Swords on her right and Five on her left. The Three of Swords represents the heartache, pain, heartbreak, loss, grief, sorrow in the Three of Swords card. And the Five of Swords represents the mind games, manipulation, desertion, and hopelessness of the Five of Swords card. But this is also a stage card. She may be blindfolded, her hands tied at the back, but her feet are free. If she wanted to run away from this situation, she wants to escape this situation, leave it behind, she can. Sometimes the Eight of Swords could be about self-imposed limitations and restrictions. And with the Seven of Cups here, I feel that your person, this person, is feeling like they've been disillusioned. They were living a lie. What they had with you was just fantasy. None of it was real. Okay. The King of Cups is a reminder here of keeping our emotions under control. If we're on the verge of an emotional outburst, the King of Cups tells us, pull back a little. Keep yourself together. This may not be the right time. Keep your cool. Focus on the love you have for yourself rather than the love you didn't get from the person you want. All right, I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you now, my dear Aries. Um, this is the Chakra Wisdom deck. It's going to show you one word and I'll leave it to you to interpret. Okay? But what are the messages we have for my Aries? Can you see? Show me what I need to see. Impartiality. Okay. This is it. This is show me one more thing. Impatience. I'll pull one more card for you, Aries. One more message for my Aries, please. Show me what I need to see for my Aries. Show me what I need to see. Process. All right, this is what I have for you this week, my dear Aries. Love, light, hope, healing, and many blessings. Let me know how it resonates. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Raise the vibe.